Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do your February reading. As always, thank you to all the current subscribers, all the newbies on board, amazing. And if you are new to the channel, please, please do subscribe, help us keep it growing. It's a general reading, it's not going to resonate with everybody. If it does, great, I hope it helps you. If it doesn't, just kick it to the curb, or if you know something would help, please do share. Um, and also, I'm sorry I'm late, I'm in the middle of moving and everything, you know what's going on. Guys, um, as well, I have got private readings open, limited slots. If you're interested, email me, soulsirentaro at gmail.com. All information in the description box, let's go. I'm going to take an energy card, Taurus, okay? Um, just an overall energy um, for this reading, please. What do we need to know? <laughs> oh, gosh. This came up on one of the lives, actually, the other week. The land between. Right, I'm connecting with a Taurus who's in absolute transition, right? This can be physically moving from one place to another place, okay? Or it can just be feeling disorientated in terms of, you know, I can't quite get there, not quite sure where I'm heading, right? Excuse now the barking in the background, it's James just coming back from the shop, right? So you are feeling in this, this in-between moment, this, this sense of I'm not quite sure the direction and that's making you feel quite insecure, Taurus. That's what I'm feeling at the moment. But actually, when you look at this, you can see the beauty of it because it's like sun here and you can see the magic as well with the stars, right? Magical things happening, gateways opening, you will cross that bridge. It can be coming out of an old relationship as well sometimes, um, you know, actually, but it's a big move, you know, it's not a little one. So you could be leaving something behind that you invested in quite heavily, Taurus, can be a job, but that transition can be unnerving. And that's why often, you know, people don't bust the moves, right? Because it is unnerving, and it feels a bit scary, but you know, you gotta keep moving in life. You've got to face your fears, otherwise you're not going to grow, are you? So that's what I feel for this Taurus. I have already pre-blessed this deck, but just felt the need to do another little shuffle then. For Taurus, please, go into the tarot now. Magical fulfilment there, though, when you get to the other side. It really is, and you'll feel the strength of it. Right, four of pentacles here. You can see how this person's holding them close, right? So this could be an issue for this Taurus as well. Finances, you know, I know I need to travel. I know I want to go somewhere, but the finances are restrictive at the minute. Kind of holding, my, it always, always feels to me as well like holding my cards close to my chest as well. So Taurus, you may be removing financial burdens at the moment as well. Getting rid of maybe some old debt or things again that have held you back. And you might not see your full way through it at the moment, but you are going to, you know, I feel like, you know, help is on its way because the spirit, the universe, they reward this, you know, when you're pushing towards your soul growth, fulfillment, you know, when you're saying to them, I need some help, they will help you. So I feel it's financial assistance in some way or financial advice as well, we're flying, right? Yeah, lock the moon face those fears, right? Because if you're sat in an energy of, I want to move, I want to do something, but I'm not doing it because, you know, either I'm frozen in fear or I don't know my way, this is about pushing through it. I always say the monster under the bed, you know, we, we when as children, you know, it's maybe just me, but I'd lie there thinking there was a great big monster under the bed, scared, and then eventually I'd look underneath and see there was nothing really there. And so this is, again, it's getting hold of it. It's saying, I, I, I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to sit in an anxious state. I'm going to push right through, right? push right through this energy and make it happen, move into this new place in my life that's going to be successful, look, absolutely, five of wands, this is like an internal battle and that's where I think you've been Taurus, I, I'm, I don't know why but I feel I'm getting to someone who's had finances big on the mind and that's what's been, you know, stopping you from, like I'm stuck, feeling stuck and actually you're beginning to realise I, I can make my moves, I can move if I want to, yeah, I do feel advice again. And I'm always trying to see the butterflies down here. It's like the beginning, Taurus, of your transformation. And then we get the death card. Absolutely. Death and rebirth. Bringing in, it couldn't be clearer, a brand new 
life that's what this Taurus is doing birthing a brand new life yeah in the transition of and going through a death and rebirth um it's 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 not nice it's un unnerving but actually it's very liberating because again we, we, we're stepping out of fear and worry and we're stepping forward into the unknown but we're, we're at least moving and we feel like we're moving and we feel like we're making some progress and that's what i feel for this Taurus there are going to be options presented to you seven of cups right now be careful right because the seven of cups doesn't always not, not everything that glitters is gold right so just be careful and do your research and use your discernment as you're choosing this cup but i feel there's offers coming in opportunities it's mirroring that four of pentacles to help you to assist you that's what i'm feeling help and assist you right through your death and rebirth and i do feel it's your angels sending them in I do right because I've got a Taurus here who's going through quite a transition right and sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down with that five of wands but look at this wow yeah look at this what I've just I just said sometimes you're up sometimes you're down right we get the two of wands and the hangman can you see right it's like sometimes I'm up I am going on that new path sometimes I'm down upside down stuck feeling stuck to this tree can you see how it's falling as well it's like right can you see here it's like i can't do it i'm fearful of doing it i'm not going to be able to make it and then you know but i want to and i'm, and I'm going to keep positive about it and then let my fears stop stop me dead in my tracks no push through know it feel it right there's a massive change coming in here because i've also got the tower so the majors on the board is the moon death and rebirth so moon facing your fears death and rebirth the hanging man you're not going to be stuck anymore this is an epiphany. This is a massive change. This is the deconstruction of something in your life in order to bring in the new Taurus. That's what it's doing, right? So again, it, this might be happening to you <laughs> rather than you doing it. Although I do think I've got a Taurus who's taking the lead. But I kind of want to put you in that mindset anyway of what's well, happening anyway. So I may as well go with it, right? Because then again, you, you've not got this, this energy in your head of, should I have made this de decision? Have I made the wrong decision? You just, you're just like, I mean, I'll have to go with the flow you know but it's a major deconstruction to, to, to push you out of this hanging man right come out of this hanging man please yeah because these pathways are waiting and I do feel it's pathways to abundance because under that death and rebirth you've got the ace of pentacles this is lovely beautiful reading beautiful energy can you see as well it's like the moon's behind it for me in this one because it's like it doesn't scare me anymore what's unknown i've just got my eyes on this prize and as i go through my transition i'm picking it up right it's coming in definitely taurus and so is love right two of cups so if you're not in a relationship this is new love on its way right and if you are uh, if, if, if you are that it's, it's going to a new level and it's just like it's coming under that seven of cups I just feel like you've shifted the energy Taurus and you're starting now to get your cups bubbling get things moving get things growing again in your life a fertile time can you see it's like the magic over there a very fertile time creating yeah I'm not stuck here I'm getting over there and I'm going to work the magic in between right it's lovely an absolutely powerful lovely reading for this Taurus right and I see it with this walking away right can you see facing my fears like we talked about I invested heavily in things in the past again there's nothing I can do about that I can't take that time back I can't take that money back if it was money you know if that's the case but you know what I'm saying it's like don't keep looking back thinking oh what what if and why did i just think oh well i obviously learned something from that and where am i going to take that energy to the positive energy because now you are facing the sun absolutely lovely this is a taurus who's swapping the moon and fears for the sun and positivity right it really is so just know the future's bright yeah the future is what you see this is your experience it's how you choose to live it and embrace it taurus right so you're standing up to be counted as well i feel that because again i feel i've had a taurus who's been down a little bit yeah knocked down through fear and worry lack of resources maybe somebody did this to you taurus right and that's the bit that's you know you're having to release to say well if that yeah look you're having to release yeah someone look at this 
this is someone shitty who did this to this Taurus. Can you see I've got a page of swords here? Brought you down, right? Took your resources, brought you to your knees. You were down for a minute. But you were wise, Taurus, and you went into your hermit, which is what I was just talking about. We know it was a shitty experience, but what we do is we say, well, what are the lessons I'm going to take for that? I'm not going to focus on all the badness and the hurt. I'm going to focus on what have I learned here, putting the light of introspection on it. This one here is a bully. This page of swords, this one flings the sword around, doesn't care who they hurt, who they upset, right? I feel you've been through an absolute shit storm here with, this, with, with these mages. The sun is also falling over. Can you see like this? All right, I can do it with free. All right, can you see how it's falling? You've got the moon, your fears. You've got the hanging man where you were stuck and now you've replaced it with the sun, right? It's an absolute shift in energy and you're doing it, Taurus. Keep doing it. Don't look back. Don't have regrets. Nothing's, everything was meant to happen as it did. Even if it was a hard lesson, it was meant to because it's putting you in an energy where you don't put up with toxic again and you're actually lighter because I feel this person is the person who put you in this state of fear and anxiety, absolutely five of pentacles, abandoned you, neglected you, you know, put you out in the cold, made you feel like the beggar, right, made you feel like you didn't exist, like there was no value, just walked away from the relationship and you, that's what I feel, and, and again, it was almost like when that happened, because it's mirroring that eight of cups, it feels like it was it was too much for you to take, it was, there was a point here for this Taurus where I feel you really thought, it's too much. I can't do it. That that was, the, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back. And then, you see, I've got that, I don't know if you can tell, I've got the lovely sun flag behind me, right? And that's what it is. So, it's, it's, I, I, I've turned around, long, difficult journey. I've seen this twice now, nine of ones, yeah? I decided to drag myself up that mountain, get to the top of the mountain, yeah? Do the work. I'm not looking back, yeah? Yes, nine of ones can be about it's a long, difficult journey and a period of reflection, but it's also about coming to the 10 where you're going to release a lot of burdens. I've definitely got a Taurus here who is getting a load of shit off their back, allowing the wheel of fortune to turn in their favour. And again, look at this. It's just so beautiful, right? With the wheel of fortune there and the land in between. Yeah, creating the magic, letting the magic happen. That's what I feel. So Taurus, I'm seeing success. So if you have got any worries, you know, you're a little bit wrong footed at the moment. You're feeling a bit uncertain. Maybe still doing some of your recovery work from this dick that you were dealing with. Sorry, excuse me, French. Right. Um, then then you, you, <laughs> you're succeeding. You know, you put all power to you. Right. Because again, I'm pulled back to this five of pentacles and it's like, because often this is seen as like frozen and in the snow, you know, poor bugger's no shoes on the feet. Can you see it's like the light's coming through the window, right? You're seeing things clearly now. I also think there's going to be a revelation, right? I do. I feel there's going to be a revelation because that page of swords card, right, is also the spy card, right? Because I feel you've been wrestling with anarchy, uh, a narcissist. And when you have right, they don't stop spying on you, they don't stop watching, they do not, right, does it matter, you might say, oh no, 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 I've not seen or heard from them for ages, that's that's not the case, I'm telling you, they've got the fucking eye on it somewhere, right, and so they might come forward, could be an apology, but it's a false apology if it's from a narcissist, because they, they, they don't really apologise, because they don't care, they don't understand the damage they've done, but you, you, you're not going to fall for it, yeah, look, eight of swords you're not going to fall for it web of deceit no more i don't listen to your lies anymore right i know i'm in transition i know it's scary i know i feel wobbly on my feet but i'm going to get to the other side to where my ace of pentacles my prize for all my hard work is waiting my new joyful life taurus right so keep pushing it right i do feel it was a lover by the way but it could have been a boss or something and you're changing jobs but either way this taurus is making a major shift because you're not prepared to sit in those energies anymore you're not prepared to live like this lies web of deceit chained blindfolded can't see your way out no there is a way out and you found it and you're taking it taking it with both hands that's what i feel and like i said new love right into a king of cups doesn't matter, male or female, right? This is absolutely the two of cups where you meet your king of cups. Somebody who loves you, 
dearly for who you are doesn't criticize you doesn't want to pull you down certainly does not want to break you wants to build you up in the same way that you want to build them up remember genders as you see fit so Taurus it's a beautiful beautiful reading you're on a powerful journey keep it going keep it pushing Taurus don't lose sight don't feel tired right just know it keep that positivity high right for Taurus please I'm going to take a fairy card to crown this beautiful reading for Taurus yeah I just saw five of winter which is like five of swords which is saying step off the battlefield anyone who's got shit energy who wants to bring you down get away from them don't fight them don't try and bring them round you know there's a saying it's not my saying I think it's Buddhist but it says don't let anyone keep hurting you just because you love them and that's so true right you gotta look away from you look here right five of winter five of swords Walk away from dishonest associations, realising that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort, right? Leaving you to it. Get out of my space. This is my space, right? You stay in your space. <coughs> Get out, right, of my space. I'm not having it. You're not pulling me down anymore. And yes, that's hard. Yes, it's difficult, but it's when you start to get the magic. Can you see the magic in these two beautiful cards? Look at them, sparkly, sparkly. I want to say, Taurus, feeling alive again. You're starting to feel alive again. Even, you know, you may have stopped functioning even for a minute here from what I'm seeing on these cards, but you're up now, free and clear, free and clear. That's what I say, right? For Taurus, please. For Taurus. Yeah, see it, I felt it, I'll take it yeah <laughs> absolutely alive seven of winter from the five to the seven can you see it's absolutely dancing on ice now there is a better choice not seeing things clearly and running away from the truth that was what was hiding you faced it you're moving on right you're moving on i'm not taking it seven of swords this as well and it can be quite sneaky energy so again i do feel <coughs> this could also be them trying to return make a return to pull you back down put Taurus in its place that's how they see it well it's not working out for them because you've become far too strong it's lovely I want one more please to crown this read reading <laughs> absolutely right the world boom right you are going to the other side the, the, the transition yeah the place you want to be it's successful and it's successful completion of the old a brilliant success the freedom to go in any direction a journey that is now complete you've done it taurus yeah you've got yourself away <coughs> excuse me you've closed your boundaries you're rebuilding you're transitioning into a new life you've taken those life lessons with you and i see beauty and success with the sun here ace of pentacles right bit of disruption with the tower that can feel really disorientating right but it's again, it's part of the divine plan to make sure you are moved through into the new life that you deserve, Taurus, right? So I'm going to leave it there. Major completion. You're right at the end of it. See the finish line for what it is. Keep pushing for it, Taurus. You're going to get there. Okay. Right, thank you so much. If you did enjoy the reading and you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. Help us keep the channel running. I'm sorry I'm late out the traps. It's been a rough few months, but I'm trying to keep getting them out there. I've got private readings. Email me, link below. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm just doing them on a weekly basis because of where I'm up to in my life at the minute. Okay, thanks so much, Taurus. Hopefully see you on the live uh, 9 p.m. UK Sunday evenings. If not, I'll see you back for your March readings. Thank you.